Again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio, and I hear thunder! What a surprise! This is a 14 by 14 inch canvas, and I am doing things in a black, white, silver, gray, whatever. I'm, I'm just doing everything black and white, and I might be like <laughs> adding gold and silver. So, I am going to make up a couple of ring pour cups, and this time I'm going to try to remember to pour out of the, uh, out of the spout side. And I've never done just black and white, and I want to find out what that does. And I have enough extra paint so that if something is not cooperating, I will just move on to another bottle. Which I recommend if you're making videos. And I'm thinking that less and more will make a big difference. So let's start this one with white. I don't need to overdo this because I'm intending on doing, you know, just a couple. I'm very curious, I have to say. Very, very curious. And I'm not sure I'm giving myself enough paint. And I really want to throw some gold in there, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to control myself. I have a lot of black and white things I want to do this week. Or maybe in the next few days, if we're lucky. If I don't get rained on too hard. So, let's just do this thing. in one spot and see how that works and then swirl it around and see how that works and then because I'm me I'm going to take my Princeton Catalyst spatulas of which I have collected one through seven they are actually art tools they're called so I'm going to take yep I am I'm going to put that right back in the middle Because it's all an experiment for me right now, and if I don't like it, I'm going to do something else to it, I promise you. So, I have another one of these, and it doesn't look like nearly enough black to me, but that's okay. I'm going to fix that right now. I'd like to put a little bit right in the center. No, I'm going to be good. And because I have more, and I'm going to put a little more in there. Because I like to play fast and loose with paint, and more still. I'm going to take my extra paint. Put it right down in between. I'm probably going to take my squeeze bottles. That did not work very well, i got to say. It usually works a whole lot better than that. I'm going to take as much of that as I can because I hate wasting paint. And I'm going to throw my measuring cups that I just emptied, yes, both of them, into the bucket. And then I'm going to put my glasses back on my head and maybe even on my eyes. There we go. And I'm going to even the playing field by adding some black. And see, splooge. <laughs> see what that does for our rings. Because I want to know very much. And when I find that lump of flow troll, I will attempt to remove it. I have edge catchers around here. I might want one in place underneath me. You know what? I have, I do have freezer paper, and I'm going to leave it. Hopefully, the wind doesn't take it. That would be awful. I don't like it when that happens. So let's put it down. Put a weight on it. No, put a different weight. On it. A lower profile weight. I know with ring pours, I'm supposed to tip really slowly. I see that lump right in there and it's gone now yay and I could go back in and throw some white in there too because I don't really care about doing anything in any particular convention away it's just crying for gold to me though I have an edge catcher that's ready to go 
Do I? <laughs> Do I lie? <laughs> okay, let's just let that go right to that edge and know that when we throw it back, it's going to come right back onto the canvas. I'm going to squeeze it so it covers the edge. I'm going to do exactly the same thing again, only I'm going to sort of kind of recenter my paint. I may throw it back again. I can always fill in that space over here in this corner with black, and I'm thinking black or white might be nice. So my paint is getting somewhat recentered. And I think I'm just going to keep moving my design around as I see fit. And I'm not going to worry about paint on my edge catcher. This could be really cool. It could. I'm thinking it's time to add some more paint. I'm not really losing any. No need to pour much off yet squeeze that on. Let's just have a go. And add some more paint because I like what's happening. I like the negative space around the ring pour. And paint will flow to paint. If I put paint right up to that edge, it will drag the rest of that paint right with it. And we're going to get a, new, a neat pattern. Nothing serious going on here, just some fun experiments. When I squeeze it back on, even though you can't see the black or the white, it comes back again. Things are moving pretty slow right now. <laughs> I still have a couple of places I can hang onto my canvas, more or less. I don't know how much of that, this ring that's headed for the edge catcher I want to go toward me. So we will see in a minute how far I want to let that go. I'm going to make a puddle all the way down. I'm going to move my hand down so when I want to throw it back on, it comes on. I'm going to squeeze my edge catcher to cover my edge. I'm going to make a puddle again and try not to lose too much paint in the process. And I like this over here so much that I really don't want to see a whole lot more of it go. So I am just going to take my little skewer and let that paint get spread right up to the edge. So when I use my edge catcher, it's going to instantly be catching something. Yeah, I like that a lot. Way, way more than I thought I would. Whoops, slidey. All right, there's some more accidental art for us. So, I really do think that there's a somewhat cohesive design going on there that I like. And I don't want to do a whole lot more to it. So, sorry about the bang. So, I'm going to take my recent lesson about using my skewer in a nice puddle of paint. And I recommend. I can see an edge uncovered over here, so I'm just going to cover that very quickly. Because if I can get it now, then I have a good chance of there being a nice layer when it goes to dry. I kind of think that should be white. So, let's do that. instead of black. Yeah, I like that. That's fine. I don't know how much else I want to do. I can skewer whatever I want. And skewer marks look a lot like ring pour marks, so... Yep, that's cool. I'm good. didn't really expect it to take all of 20 minutes. Uh, I really only have 20 minutes on my camera before it shuts down, so if anybody's wondering why I set a timer for 20 minutes, that would be why. 
Usually we torch to release cells, patterns in the paint that come from having added pouring medium. So I'm going to think about doing that. I'm still really, really super tempted to indulge my Rain-X desire, which is Rain-X original formula will often will often make cells if you're using a Floatrol paint mixture. I just, this is kind of, you know, a little elegant. <laughs> I like it. And um, I'm happier than I thought I would be. It doesn't keep me from wanting to experiment and see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to have to experiment. Sorry. That's cool. I'm happy because we have that nice heavy black paint that I added to surround it. It means I can drag my skewer through it and do all kinds of stuff. You can probably also, yeah. It's time to find out what the skewer is going to be like. Put that little spot right there, that makes me happy. I think I'm going to do that right there, just because I need to know. It's all about experimenting for the next painting. I'm not sure I like that. But I'm pretty sure I can if, I'm, if I work it. <laughs> or I can always wipe it out and add black in there, which is looking like a possibility. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to torch it. She said as she poked and prodded at it some more. Okay, well, I'm going to torch, see if we get any cells. I bet we get something. Although, this is kind of bothering me. Yes, it's time. Lots of little cells creating wonderful textural pattern. I'm liking it. I don't know if I really want to cook the whole surface so thoroughly that I can't add any more paint to it. Because between you and me, we know that I'm a bit of a spiral freak. And that every once in a while, like often, <laughs> I need to spiral stuff out. Um, but I'm pretty happy. I know you've heard that before. She's still going to do stuff. <laughs> no, I think that's okay. <laughs> yeah. You know I'm just bad at stopping. Just like everyone else is bad at stopping too. I don't know what to do with that corner. It's kind of bumming me out that I did that. And it's a little unbalanced up there and down here, but there are a lot of things that I still like about it. I think that'll help. Yeah, I'm just going to smooth it out with my skewer. Let the paint fall right over the edge. That's good. Do I want something in there? I kind of do. Yes. See? You're never stuck with what you've got. If you want to do something, just do it. The temptation is to pull out the gold. But you know what? I suddenly like this a lot more than I did a second ago. I think that's just a major improvement. So I'm going to leave it alone. And that's it. This is Priscilla in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio experimenting bl with black and white. And that was a double ribbon pour, excuse me, a double ring pour and uh, added, added paint from squeeze bottles. If you'd like to help me keep painting. I could use some contributions and you can use PayPal or Patreon. There are links on my YouTube header and also below the video in the description where you will also find my paint mixture, my paint pouring mixture that we mix with the acrylic paint and a Pinterest board and a link to a Facebook album at the very bottom where you will see all the wet and dry artworks from YouTube. So if I've forgotten to tell you something other than the fact that my artwork is for sale, 
Um, let me know in comments. Anything you need to ask me you didn't find under the video in the description, just ask away. I'm happy to answer. I love you guys. I appreciate all the contributions that have kept me painting so far. I just did a major shopping, a couple hundred bucks, and I should be good for a little while. But um, I'm still hoping for a roof on my studio, and uh, that could cost me a pretty penny. So thank you very much again. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.